Welcome everybody. And in this video, I'm going to talk about using the Autodesk desktop app. This app is installed when you install your software. And what it does is it sits inside your system tray in the lower right corner of your computer and it runs in the background. And what we can do with this app is update our software. So a lot of people, um, struggle or have a hard time understanding maybe where to go download the updates and things like that. And it's right here inside of the app. So after you log in um, to the app, it'll pull all of the subscription information, licensing information that you have access to. So as you can see here, if I go up to my main uh, products and tools right here, you're going to see that I have access to all these different pieces of software and I can install them directly using the app here. Now you're not going to be able to install the 2022 or the 2020 releases, any of the previous releases. You're going to have to go to your Autodesk account for that. And to do that, you just have to click your name in the upper right corner, choose account details, and that will take you into your Autodesk account. And we'll touch on that another day. But what we can do here is we can just turn on check mark the I agree, choose the install button, and then we'll have Inventor Professional installed on our computer. But also what we need to notice is that there's an update button below the products. And you can see that there is currently an update to my AutoCAD 2022, five days ago, the size of it, and some important information about the update right here, as well as the release notes. So I can go to the release notes and really see what was updated in this uh, this piece of software. software, We can minimize this little button here or maximize it and we can see the previous updates. So this is the 1.2, some information on 1.2. And then when we're happy with this, we can choose the update button. And this was a big one here. So I can choose the update button. It's gonna go download the update and then install it on our computer. Another important part of these updates and I believe I have none of these updates, but sometimes you get an update required that has the Autodesk logo right here in the icon. And it could be a sign-on or single sign-on, a licensing update, something along those lines. Make sure that you have those updates installed. Sometimes when uh, clients of ours are having issues signing in or logging in or a license issue, it's mainly because they haven't installed the update, uh, the licensing updates that appear here. So I hope this has helped uh, you guys understand a little bit more about updating your, your software and the importance of uh, obviously keeping it all updated, but especially the licensing ones so that we can stay current. Uh, appreciate your time and have a great day.